We are officially leaving Guanajuato. The first order of business is to get out of this beautiful RV park that we've been staying at for a whole, wow, a work week, five days. That's more than we usually stay anywhere. It was just so convenient to get to town from here and we absolutely loved it. We're heading to Dolores Hildalgo. It's a town that we didn't have marked for anything in particular until we met some folks yesterday who said it was a must visit for two reasons. And then we're gonna find our first hot springs in mainland Mexico. We're super excited for this week's adventure, so be sure to subscribe because it's gonna be FNA. Hello, good morning, the goats. Are those your friends? Of course, the day that we show up in town, they're having a giant festival! This festival is all about the wine, but you're definitely gonna find some food right here too. And wine's here, baby. in are the many flavors of ice cream. Apparently they have very interesting flavors. This one looks like uh, oh, yeah. cactus. So this is cactus flavored. That's very good. I was wondering what that was. Oh, those are cactus berries. Sabon de agua. So they have a bunch of flavors with agua. They have a bunch of flavors with crema. También de agua, maracuya. Maracuya. Uh, no es mango, see? ¿sí? Maracuya. No maracuya. Es, no es mango. Uh, passion fruit. Mm. Passion fruit, okay. Which one's passion fruit? I like that one better. Yeah, that, one's that has more of like a sweet kick. Yeah. What's a squinkles? Squinkles? A squinkles is. Yeah, squinkles. <laughs> squinkles? Squinkles? Oh my. See. Squinkles has some like fire fruit in it. Oh. What do you think? No. Oh, it's like spicy and sweet at the same time. Interesting. Squinkles. Hmm. Spaghetti. I mean, I'll be. <laughs> I like it. Oh, so interesting. Oddly enough, I like it. Is that the one you want? No, it's not the one I want. No. But I like it. This is the wine one. Is this special for the wine festival? Is uh, uh, uh <laughs> sin leche? See, see. Si? Si? All right. Ooh, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes like wine. Uh huh. That's a really good wine, though. Wow. Okay. Actually, it really does taste like wine. Okay, I'm making a decision. I'm gonna go um, Chiquite Passion Fruit. Um, and then I am going to have... I feel like I always get uh, Fresa, so I can't do that. Yeah, we'll share it. Okay. Cool. So I had to try the avocado one. This is the one that I was most interested in. Mm. That's really good. Does it taste like avocado? It's avocado with like a creaminess to it, like a vanilla cream to it. Nice. It's really good. No, Which no. kind is it? Seafood. Shrimp and octopus. You have to, Frank. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the seafood flavor. Oh, no bueno. <laughs> no bueno. Ah. Gracias. 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 Adios. Uh, oh, the seafood one was weird. That's so cool. The second thing that Hidalgo is known for is their pottery. And this is a perfect example of it. Te amo un... I think he's hitting on you, Frank. I don't know <laughs> if he's hitting on me or on him. I think he's hitting on him. <laughs> I love you a lot. Oh. I love you a lot. Oh, oh, how sweet. Yeah, you a 
wrote that for? That's funny. I don't know who he wrote it for. And uh, maybe he gave it to you to give to your lady. Yeah, you I, don't know? Know, I don't know what we're supposed to do with this. You're supposed to pick up chicks. That's like the ultimate chick magnet right there, I think. <laughs> Paco, you want to go in the water? You want to go in the water? No? As magical as this town is, we have decided to not spend the night here. I think with the wine festival and everybody getting turned up, it's gonna be a little bit loud for sleeping. So we are on a mission to find a spot that's going to be very quiet and secluded. You think we can do it? I think we got it. It's only a 20 minute drive outside of town and it's in the direction we're traveling. So let's get to it. We made it to this pin, but we're not quite sure where we're supposed to it be. It just said drive down the road, but here's the thing is the road veers off at a certain point. You can either go right or left. But so there we go. We picked right. It starts to go really down. So we figured we'd walk it and see what's at the end of the road before committing to it with the van. Yeah. Um, so let's find out. This is a smart move. Just walking down a random spot next to it. I mean, there's a beautiful house over there. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't feel dangerous. No, it doesn't. And if anybody comes at me, I'll just hit them with the GoPro. <laughs> there's a fence right here behind us, so I'm guessing this is not the road. I'm just gonna look over here to the left, make sure there's no other road going that way, and then we'll head down the road that was kind of more straight anyway. Come on, Paco. We're gonna leave without Paco, I guess. He doesn't want to come. Hurry up, buddy. Oh, nice of you to join us. Hey, bud. Okay. I feel fine about the road. I just don't really know where we're going at the moment. <laughs> you know, when it's like, oh, just drive a mile down here. You'll be all right. It's kind of like a little sketchy, you know? Did you get weirded out because there was people there? Yeah, a little bit. And you literally can't go down here either. There's tire marks right there. Yeah, so this is where we put this is the driver, but this is it. I'm gonna back in, so that way I have control of getting out. I'm really happy we have this Raptor liner, because I think it saved up about a couple times already. And now we gotta do the vibe check and see how we feel. That guy over there is just kind of walking back to the property. It doesn't seem like he cares. The fence is right there, so that's their land. This is unknown. I attacked once. There's some people over Hola. there. I don't know. Uh, Hola. I don't know if this is okay, if they care or not. Uh-huh. I mean, they're kind of just staring at us. Uh, I'm gonna say, hola. Can you come? Yeah? No? It's okay? Okay. Gracias. It looks like that they said it's it's okay. Did you, like, give a I thumbs was, up I or was something? like, come, and they were like, it's okay. Lots of cow poop. This is the dry riverbed, for sure. It's pretty, but there's definitely a farm right here. There's definitely a farm over there. So do we stay right here? There's definitely a farm over there too. I wonder if the river is technically like owned by the state or something. Yeah. And then, so this land isn't technically owned by anybody because like theirs is there and theirs is there and the river is owned by nobody. It's not like in the States where you have the apps that are like, this is whose this land is. Yeah, it's cool though. Definitely neat looking. So a family walked by, we asked them about the spot and if it's okay if we stay for one night. And they said, yes, it is tranquilla, which means very quiet here and secure. So we're comfortable with the spot now. Yes, definitely. But now we've been invited by the folks that we were with the wine festival at to go, they've got a campsite. It's $25 a night, plus we're gonna have to pay for Paco but they're offering wood-fired pizza. Mm -hmm. Pizza, that's the big thing. <laughs> that's the kicker right there, that's what gets me. Well, and also we haven't hung out with people a lot since we've been in mainland, So do especially we, van people. So do we spend the $25 and hang out? I mean. I'm having a really weird eye twitch. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? I have no idea what that means. Is that my eyes twitching? Yeah, like normally like palm itchy is like oh, money. Oh, you know? I get it, I get it, I get it. You want a rock, paper, scissors shoot or something for it? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. One. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock. I won that. Yeah, yeah. So it's one, one. Oh. Yeah. This is really hard. Okay. Woo! 
<laughs> Get it out. You ready? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I won. It <laughs> looks like we're staying here. Do you want to go? I feel like you want to go. I feel like you want to okay, go. Okay, we both want to go. Okay, we're going anyway. We both want to go. <laughs> Good boy. Hi, my name is So we're all set up at the campsite. It's really beautiful here. You guys are gonna love the showers. <laughs> yeah, the showers are amazing. I can't wait to take them. We met some more new friends here. We're gonna have a good time tonight. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that looks amazing. So right now we got like a one, one, zero thing happening. So we're hoping that we could make it uh, some, uh, make a winner here. If not, it might go even. It might go even. It won't. No, no won't. you're going to win it? Uh, of course. <laughs> no! 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 Good morning, guys. Our friends that we met last night are leaving. They're actually starting up traveling and making a YouTube channel and just living the life and trying to get the word out to the Mexican people out here that, you know, this is a lifestyle that you could do. Francisco and Simona are hitting the road, so we're seeing them off. <laughs> About to go into this amazing shower. Oh. Hola. Yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. it nice and warm? She's like, look at me, I'm so in the dirt. So they have towels for you to use. And then look how amazing. There's even a spot to charge your cell phone. Oops. And then, I'm a genius. I want to fix that for them now. <laughs> oh, these are cute. Right? Look how cute the hooks are. Made out of wood from the area. Probably just from the property. Yeah. Wow, that was incredible. I feel very nice. One of the absolute most wonderful things about being in places like this in Mexico is the temperature out here in the morning is nice and cool. <sighs> so taking a hot shower is like, oh, this is great. Yeah, and in a nice shower that's yeah. not falling apart. <laughs> Bueno. The real reason why we came here was because we want to go to the hot springs. But before we go, because the weekend is going to be packed, we're going to go on Monday. Before we go, we're going to hit town and we're going to get all the little errands that we need to get done. So that way when the town is busy, we're not trying to enjoy the activities and we could do it when the town is more quiet. Today is all about running errands, starting with laundry. Japago ready for the toy? What is that? Is that your toy? Oh my gosh, it's your toy!
I'm trying to set up some nice lights so that way we can have some good ambient light for when the pizza's here. I feel like you have to use it at least once to like make it worth bringing it. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we did a whole calculus. Jamie needed to know that I was going to use it at least like 15 times wow. on this trip. And otherwise it wasn't going to be coming Fair. with us. Yeah. So this is one of 15. One of 15. Nice. And we're going to be doing uh, bacon bread in here. Ooh. We've got the sizzler plate so you can do veggies, steaks, seafood, whatever. Nice. It's not, it's not just pizza. There you go. Yeah. We're going to be exclusively traveling with them for the next four months and they're going to cook for us every day. <laughs> We're doing doing a little petit charron with our petit pétain. Mm. Mm, very nice. Instead of having wine at the wine festival yesterday, we're having wine outside of the not happening wine festival today. How many people does it take? Gentle. Oh, snap. Wow, that's so pretty. Yo guys, I think this is for real the first real pizza that we're having in Mexico. Oh, actually we had that really good pizza in Baja. You don't remember the Italian guy in Ensenada? Oh, our very first day in Baja, we got pulled into an Italian restaurant <laughs> yeah. and it was our first meal in Baja was supposed to be tacos, but it turned out to be pizza. So this is prob this is number two real pizza that we're having. Yeah, but it might be number one. Yeah. Uh, you're supposed to snap it in there. What does that even mean? <laughs> snap it. Snap Yes, that's it. <laughs> now you're cracking. That was the sound you were looking for? Yes, exactly. Do you want to put this on top of here? I do, yeah. What do you think? It's really good. Uh -huh. The vegan cheese actually turned out really nice. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's in the oven, I think. When you're cooked to 900 degrees, how could you not be? It's yeah. chewy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. We got half vegan, we got half mozzi. We got fire, a lot of fire. A lot of fire. finally made it where we want to be. These are the hot springs just north of San Miguel. We are so excited to dive in. The grounds are beautiful. So at this point, we're not actually sure where we're supposed to go. It just keeps saying spa, spa, spa. But uh, it's first thing in the morning, they just opened and we don't see any people and there's definitely no English. Okay, so we got some advice from some English speakers yeah. about where the hottest spring is. But all the way up top here. I think we have to go all the way back to the beginning to drop our bags off. Mm -hmm. And our clothes. <laughs> and then you just kind of walk around in your bathing suit all day, I guess. Into the hot springs we go. We hope that you enjoyed these lovely hot springs and this episode just as much as we did. If you guys come down here, you have to hit this hot spring. It was absolutely incredible. We loved it. And we can't forget about our wonderful Patreons who make all these adventures possible. And remember, we're doing nine countries over the next nine months. So subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Have an FNA day. Me gusta. Pa. Ah. Oh. Oh.
Now you got the spirit on. <laughs>